this year at the Tairaf, the Arts Festival were quite um, intentional in moving into the space of Matariki. Um, not so much to sort of claim the space, but actually just to participate in, for, for a start, something that is a national um, acknowledgement and celebration. It's the first time uh, an Indigenous public holiday has been recognised in the world. So it, it means a lot, and I think for us, um, and particularly with Te Arei Fiti, which is our light, light trail, um, it was about looking at the time of year, so it makes sense, you know, when you want things to shine at night to come out a little bit earlier, and of course it's darker in the winter. But it's also about us kind of participating alongside the rest of our community. So Gisborne people will know um, many different community organisations and galleries and kura um, have been activating in the space of Matariki for a long time. So it's not new in that respect. Um, all we wanted to do was, I guess, participate and be part of that. The artworks have to exist in both day and night. So they don't, they don't disappear in the daytime. So there's there's that element of it. They also have to have a level of interaction and and strength. That means that, like children are going to come, they're going to interact. They may touch. What safety aspects have are considered? Because a lot of the artists that we work with aren't generally large scale sculptors. Um, so they're adapting their normal practice to fit with this kaupapa. So it's quite a complex um, process to get to the, the artists whose work will be shown. Um, but it's an enjoyable process, it's really cool. We get to work with Angus Muir, who's, who, who's the lighting designer, and he constructs a lot of the, the works. It should just be an experience of how you walk and travel through the space and everything's placed where they are to kind of um, enhance your your experience but also that each individual work has space to stand on its own. Um, I like to think of it as an outdoor gallery so it's not um, it's not a whole, I'm curating it so that each individual work is treated and respected as an artwork and the artist is seen rather than just being a homogenous kind of yeah show of lights, the artwork. I will take a little trip over yonder, over yonder, so I can take a look around at what you've seen. I can see from where I am you're on an adventure in a place you can't describe. Some things can't be captured in words. So show me colors, colors I need. Pictures this time Show me food and sights and sounds I wanna know what you find I want colors, colors, please Show me life ain't black and white Let me see you on the other side of the line Show me colors, ooh -hoo. 